The pro tennis season is often described thusly. It's a marathon, not a sprint. And in keeping with that metaphor, competitors try to obey the cardinal rule of endurance sports, finish strong. And in 2017, few finished stronger than Jack Sock. Since mid-October, when other players are huffing and puffing and booking tee times, Sock has won seven matches. Five of them came at the Paris Masters 1000 event, where Sock won the biggest title of his career. In the span of one late season surge, Sock has done a few things. He salvaged a year that, according to him, had to that point only been so-so. He's broken the ceiling on the top 10 for the first time in his career. And as a result, he earned a spot in the ATP's World Tour Finals event in London. But Sock has also provided a glimpse of his future. If he's top 10 in a year that saw him win only three matches at the four majors, well, imagine his upside. What's more, he's offered a glimpse on the future of US men's tennis. We're going on 15 years now without an American male winning a major singles title. But there are now three Americans in the top 20, and a young cavalry is coming. Sock will take on the best of the ATP in London. And then he'll start next year, still entering middle age and tennis years, trying to break through at a slam. It wouldn't be a sock story without one footwear pun, so here goes. You've heard the phrase knocking their socks off? Well, this is the inverse. Lately, it's been Sock who's been doing the knocking. <laughs>